Alright, so here's a review of the new brand that came out called Henry London. And they make these venture style watches, which is very awesome. Um, they're about only about five, six months old, um, I think. And I just got it from Nordstrom, uh, which says that you know, it just freshly came in with the stock. And I don't think anyone has bought any yet at my local Nordstrom. And uh, let's see. Let's go through the watch. So here it is. Uh, the cool thing about this watch is that uh, they're based off the venture style back then of how it was uh, the dome glass and the little smaller face or thinner. So uh, you notice that on each of these watches, they have, of course, the Henry that logo right there. And then you can actually engrave your own message on, on the, the back plate of it. Um, and then mine says, uh, this, this model is Edgeware. And the cool thing about the, these watches is that all of them, they, they're named after a place in London. Like They have like uh, Piccadilly and some other places, and this one was Edgeware. So they're like different places in uh, London. Um, and there's a cool backstory to of how they came up with the, this design and this watch, and it's a great story. And I think this watch is really going to get bigger, and this brand is going to get uh, bigger as in terms of uh, popularity and wise. And you know, it's really amazing. It's very different. It's very different from what you can usually see. All right. So it comes with, of course, the safety sticker here. All right. All right. So really looking at the face, I got mine's a black. And it says, uh, on the bottom, it says British design, bottom here, you can't really see it. And of course, it's uh, Japan movement, uh, three ATM, water resistance, uh, stainless steel. Now, this is the the metal, this is the clothes mesh they have here. So, it's very nice. Uh, I prefer the leather, but this one's also fine as well. It's, it's, it's really cool. And, um, they have different color faces as well. They have, uh, a blue one, a dark green. I think they have purple and, and like a red one too. So it's really nice, all these watches. Uh, they very uh, give you a vintage style. So here it is. I think it's, uh, so you click out one for uh, changing the date and time. Uh, the date, I'm sorry. The date's right there on the 3, three o'clock yeah. Um And then you click out another time to change the actual time. So it's very nice. Henry London. And the case, let's see what's in the box. So the box has a really nice, you know, little padded box here. Let's lift this up. Henry Lennon, this little lens care they have here. This little card, okay, for lens. And here they have, let's see. Oh, okay. So they have a little bit of a little thing you can write in here. Oh wow. Oh. I think a little cloth feel. I think what this is is a uh, polishes any scratches or some sort. A little a bit of like a, a little cream or something. That's very cool. Yeah, so this one is a thirty eight millimeter. I believe all of them are thirty eight millimeters. So it's very cool. No, very small, very different from the watches uh, that are in uh, are in today, you know. A lot of watches today are mostly bigger in size. But this one's just very, uh, very, you know, nice for a dress watch. It's very thin and very nice. So, um, wait, let's see here. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, the watches back then, such as uh, this is of the HMT Sona, which is like a very cheap watch in India, and it has the dome glass as well. So this is like a vintage one, and of course, reminds you of some people of the Omega Seamaster. See massive develop you would see in like Mad Men or something. Um, you just put it on. All right, so this here it is how it looks like on my wrist. So I have a really small wrist. So it looks doesn't look too big on my wrist. So it's very nice. Okay. Let's look at the, uh, the case. Yeah, there it is. 